Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going back over to McKellar and we are taking a look at another instalment of the double IPA series or the single hop double IPA series that they've done. Now I've already done a review of uh, one of these beers and that was the um, the Amarillo version which I thought was really nice. It was a nice like throwback to a classic, almost like West Coast IPA very resiny, very hoppy, uh, the perfect antidote to the uh, influx, which I'm not, you know, I don't hate, I really quite enjoy, but a good antidote to all the New England style IPAs and pale ales floating around. So I'm a big fan of it for that reason. And another reason why I like this sort of stuff is when they're using one hop primarily, uh, sorry, I'm just a little bit uh, preoccupied, uh, when they use um, one single hop, it's great if you're getting into it to try and pick out characters and flavours and learn about the hop. And uh, not that I'm at that level where I could like tell you straight away, yeah, this is definitely Amarillo. Uh, but I'd like to think I'm getting there. And uh, beers like this are a good way to teach you about beers and ingredients and hops. And hopefully it's a good tasty experience as well. So this is the Amarillo Double IPA which is clocking in at 8.9 percent so it's a it's a heavy hitter and a fantastic artwork the artwork is uniform of course aside from the you know the changing of the name on the hop and then on the top of the can and uh, this was part of the february beer mail box from mckellar so if you're interested i'll put my referral link down below as well as a link to the mckellar web shop so you can have a little bit of a browse and uh, yeah if you use the link you get yourselves a little discount and I get a little discount in return. You help me, I'll help you by providing you with high, co high quality content and absolutely wonderful, wonderful in-depth and professional views on beer. So uh, yeah, looking forward to trying this one because like I said, the, the other one that I had was really, really nice. And I think I've got another one in this series to review. So who knows, I might review it tonight if I get a little bit carried away. I think that's a Citra one, which I'm a big fan of. It's one of my favourite hops. So, beer in a glass then. And uh, yeah, that's a lovely sort of coppery amber colour. Uh, it is hazy, but it's a lot dark, darker than you would expect with some of these more trend-setting IPAs. Uh, poured it a little bit stupidly in this Teku. So I've got two fingers worth of a, a pale beige-looking head. Really nice, compact-looking head there as well. Seems to be holding its own. But uh, yeah, you really can't see through that at all. Nice sedimentation cloud. So uh, yeah, off to a good start. Let's see what we get on the aroma. And it's got a big hit of like a vibrant tropical fruit, which I do associate with the Amarillo hop. I know that's a really popular one now that our breweries are using, especially the more like double dry hopped sort of beers. But then you get this lovely like multi resiny backbone coming through which I really like. It's a, it's an aroma that I like to smell every now and then because it just seems to be most of the IPAs that I've been having recently have got these like just fruit bowl, fruit smoothie sort of uh, characteristics, which again, big, big fan of. And the ones I've had in Keller have been really, really good. But yeah, it's got that real dank, oniony, garlicky earthiness there with a slight sweetness, but then you get this lovely sweet caramel malt coming through as well. Yeah, it is really quite potent, actually. None of that alcohol is coming through. But yeah, just big, resiny, juicy. A little bit of tropical tone. A little bit of lychee. Big hits of grapefruit, citrus. Uh, loads of blood orange, lemon, lime, that sort of thing. And then I just love that like oniony, garlicky sort of aroma. Like you're frying it off with a bit of brown sugar and it's caramelised. Yeah, smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Ooh, that's lovely. I love IPAs like this. First and foremost, that ABV is masked so, so nicely. You might get the slightest hit of warmth going down. But it's got that sort of like palate wrecking aspect to it on the back end. Big punchiness 
on the tongue. Loads of savoury characters in there as well. It's big and chewy, a little bit of a caramel flavour in there. And of course those hops are shining through really, really nicely. It's not a vibrant beer by any stretch. You wouldn't really expect that. But it's a big hoppy resin bomb for sure. And I said palate wrecker, it's not I've had much, much potent, much more potent beers than this in the style. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Get a bit of blueberry in there, a little bit of a mango, loads of citrus. Like you've literally just got like a medley of citrus fruits and just squeeze them on your tongue. Uh, which I wouldn't recommend because you might get some in your eye and that can be pretty damn painful. Not that I've ever picked up a, a whole bunch of different citrus fruits full of acid and just squeezed it on my face. But I'm just merely pointing out that that's what it could be like. But yeah, it's really nice and rounded. It's potent, but it's not harsh. You know, it reminds me of um, the Hercules uh, from Great Divide. It's got that big, like, classic American, like, in-your-face IPA character. But very, very drinkable. 8.9%. Obscenely crushable. The worst thing you probably get if you drink this too fast is maybe a little bit of, like, an acidic build-up. But if you take your time with it, Absolutely lovely and big like bitterness now as I'm talking. Big savoury bitterness as well with a hint of grapefruit. Lovely creamy mouthfeel as well. Not too heavy. Just the right amount of carbonation to help distribute the beer around your palate. Leave your tongue a little bit oily. So, so satisfying. And um, yeah, I, I'm really, really enjoying this. Those tropical characteristics that I get from Amarillo are coming through so nicely on this one, but it doesn't get too sweet, it doesn't get too in your face, it doesn't become like a fruit bowl punch sort of beer. I love the resiny, resiny characters. I love the oiliness, I love the pininess. And then you've got a lovely fruity balance, a little bit of a caramel character, and then just this lovely grounded, savoury... Oniony garlicky character, just just every character works beautifully together. So in terms of rating then, on the Keller's Amarillo Double IPA, I'm going to give that one a very solid eight out of ten. Really, really nice. Amarillo slowly become one of my favourite hops. Uh, the more I'm getting used to it, the more I'm appreciating it a bit more. Um, if I remember correctly, I think I liked the um, the previous version that I had for. I can't remember what hop, I mentioned it like at the start of the video. But um, yeah, I, I can't fault that at all. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take my time with this one because it is a little bit of a sipper. I don't want to rush it because that's when you do get the you know, the warmth and the burn. But um, yeah, sticky lips as well. It's better than a salty kiss though. Um, yeah, I don't think I've uploaded that review yet, so that's a stupid reference, and if you've not watched that review, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be meta, I'm trying to be clever, I'm the coolest drinker, I fail on all accounts, but at least I entertain you, or I hope I do. But um, yeah, 8 out of 10 for the Amarillo Double IPA, really nice showcase of the hop, and uh, IPAs like this, I, I love to have them. Um, to break through that, not mon like monotony, but um, just to something a little bit different, classic. And I'd like to see more breweries doing beers like this one. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I shall hopefully, actually, no, I forgot to do something. Go check out McKellar. <laughs> check out my McKellar playlist. If any of my friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, then their links are down below. Check out my McKellar referral link to get yourselves a little bit of a discount on your own McKellar beer mail or beer club box. And more importantly, I hope you join me next time for another, another beer review. Yeah, I was going so well, I was on track and then I stumbled at the end. This could have been ended two minutes ago, but oh well. Oh, and also don't forget to look out my double, what? Don't forget to check out my double IPA playlist down below as well. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the continued support and uh, for putting up with me talking about McKellar for like pretty much every other video, but um, I'm really enjoying these McKellar beer mails 
and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the reviews. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers, guys.